Hello, I'm Alistair from the Drinking Man's Guide to Scotland and uh, today I'm in the pot still in Glasgow with Frank and we're about to do a tasting. I, Frank, I, I quite like a singleton, a quite uh, a nice uh, sherry, easy going whiskey. What, what, is there anything else you would suggest for me? That, uh, I'll get you a few options down. Oh, I'm liking the oh, I'm liking the options. Yeah. Right, a couple of the options for you. Uh, the Singleton, at least in this country, comes from Dufftown Distillery uh, in the heart of Speyside. One of the oldest distilleries in that town is Motlack, just basically on the other end of the road. Uh -huh. And Motlack is similarly a whiskey that spends a lot of its uh, time with Johnny Walker. There's not a lot of bottle, there's a single malt. Uh, this is a 15 year old, with a bit of sherry influence on it, so from the same town, roughly the same age, a 15 year old as opposed to a 12, maybe a little bit more sherry character. And Motlack's a little bit more robust, but not too much. Uh, and for something of a similar character, but a little bit different, Springbank. Springbank, yeah. And Springbank comes from Campbelltown and the Mullock Entire. Uh, Campbelltown used to have about 30 distilleries in the one time, but now there's only three. Three, I was going to say, uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, so Springbank being the best known one. This is one of their yearly releases. Uh, almost every year they bring out something that's been done in a, a slightly different cast to give a wee bit of a different taste to it. This one's a nine year old. And it's done the first four years in second for bourbon casks, and then done another five years in Gaja Barolo red wine casks. So it's got as much of the, the broad shouldered character as the single team not like has, but then a slightly drier finish because it's red wine rather than sherry. All oh, right, okay. Yeah. So what you do is have a wee sniff. There's the one you know. So a wee sniff of that. And then see the other two that you don't know yet. See, look, that's that's not overpowering. It's not. There's not. A, there's, there's a nice smell there, but it's not. It's not kind of blowing my head off. Kind of thing. Singleton's so, dangerous. Yeah. You can probably just drink that all night long quite easily. Yeah, I think I probably could actually. That's right. Yeah. That's, uh, so that's a singleton. Uh, yeah. Smell what? Uh, that smells. Uh, that smells sweeter. Is that sweeter? Or? Well, it's three years older and there will be more sherry influence in it because it's a government fail bottle and government fail are well known for their sherry bottles. Uh, so just a little bit richer all round, uh, a little more influence to the cask, a little bit more time in the cask, not many sharp edges off it. Uh, like I said, just wee tweaks. Just wee tweaks, right? So that's... I would say that, that, that that's going to be more flavoursome than this one because of the, the, the sweeter uh, influence on it, you know? I, I'm just guessing. But, uh, well, no. Uh, most of what you get from those is what you should get in taste. Oh, now this, this one is a smoked. There's a bit of smoke in there. There's spring has got a wee bit of smoke in it. Yeah. Uh, spring is one of the last distilleries where you'll find uh, floor malting happening. And floor malting is a little bit variable, yeah. and so is the kelning process. Uh -huh. So there are some batches of spring back that are a wee bit smokier than others, but that's part of the fun of it. I think I'll try, I'll try, I'll go for a taste of that. I'll try this one. Yeah, certainly. Good one, Thank you. I would say be careful, this one's cast strength, and this one's bottled at... 54.7% alcohol. 54.7, this is going to, I'm going to feel this one. <laughs> well, well, if you have too much yet. Yeah. Oh, you can definitely feel it's cast strength. But a beautiful flavour. Beautiful flavour. It's uh, it's smoky, but it's not too smoky. It definitely needs a touch of water. I'm glad you did that. Yeah. yeah. There's absolutely no problem putting a wee splash of water into whiskey. No, no. I, I, I joined the Scotch Whiskey Society ah, uh, in Edinburgh, yeah. Edinburgh a wee while ago, and they. The way I taste whiskey now is I take it from the bottle to start off with, and then if I think it's just a bit too much, add a drop of water. Just this is my personal preference. That's exactly my recommendation uh, as well. Uh, and then just a wee kind of, not any more than that, even just to kind of loosen it up a bit, you know. And then, especially with cast strength whiskey, you've always got a second shot at it because it's usually so oh. stronger. That's much more mellow. Much more. There's more kind of. It's more oak in that actually than smoke now. It's more like an oak flavour. Is that, is that in what, what kind of barrels in there? Well, it's um, four years in second fell bourbon casks and then five years in fresh Gadamarolo casks. So there will be a little bit of effect from the cask uh -huh. that the wine used to be in first. Right. Uh, usually with European oak casks, rather than being charred like bourbon casks, they'll be toasted. 
So sometimes they're slightly different, uh, further from the, the actual wood coming right, through. Right, right, okay. Uh -huh. Well, that is absolutely excellent. I'm, I'm going to stop the filming just now before we bore people to death, but uh, this one is beautiful. I'm going to recommend the spring bank there, the cast strength, no overpowering at all, just beautifully flavoursome, lightly smoked, really enjoying it. Thank you very much for your recommendation. Cheers. 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 Cheers.